Officer William Porter is charged with involuntary manslaughter, second degree assault, reckless endangerment, and misconduct in office. Prosecutors are trying him first to use his statements against police van driver Caesar Goodson and Western District Supervisor Sergeant Alicia White. According to court documents, he told the van's driver that the city booking facility would not process Gray because he was in medical distress. Gray suffered a spinal cord injury while in police custody on April 12th. He died a week later in the hospital. Court files show Goodson requested an officer check on his prisoner, so Porter met them at Dolphin Street and Druid Hill Avenue. According to court papers, Mr. Gray requested help and indicated he could not breathe. Officer Porter asked Mr. Gray if he needed a medic, at which time Mr. Gray indicated at least twice that he was in need of a medic. Officer Porter then physically assisted Mr. Gray from the floor of the van to the bench. Charging documents indicate Porter did not get Gray medical attention. The prosecution will show video of Gray's arrest on Pressbury Street and police shackling him later at a stop on Mountain Baker Streets. They say the videos prove he could lift his neck and walk on his own at that point. They contend Gray injured his spinal cord during a wagon ride sometime after the Mountain Baker stop. The state will argue Porter's failure to seatbelt Gray violates police general orders and contributed to the criminal recklessness of the officer's conduct, resulting in Gray's death. The defense will provide testimony of another arrest, where Porter claims Gray tried to knock out the windows of the van. Porter recounted in a defense motion, you know, so he was always, always like banging around. It was always a big scene whenever you attempted to arrest Freddie Gray. They want the jury to judge Porter on how he assessed the situation April 12th, and he may take the stand. The defense will call character witnesses. Other officers are expected to testify. They heard Gray shaking the wagon and kicking the door. Prosecutors will argue that couldn't have happened if they had followed protocol. The failure to seatbelt him constitutes a criminally culpable disregard of risk of harm. David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.